What is up everybody? Welcome back to another do-it-yourself life hack clickbait video. On today's agenda, we are going to figure out, is it really hard to install window tint? I think it's rather easy. We're going to find out today. This right here is everything you are going to need to install the window tint film. A microfiber cloth, some glass cleaner, a spray bottle of water, and a large roll of paper towels. And of course, your actual window tint film. In my hands, I have the tint film that I bought from AutoZone uh, for around $10. Now, uh, this is 5% limo tint. 5% tint, so you can't see up in my window. Now, before you say, Eric, what car are you gonna tint at 5%? That is ridiculous. And to answer your question, I am not tinting a car window. I'm actually tinting my garage door windows here. And I don't want anybody coming in. I don't like the transparency. Uh, this is a garage. Uh, so that's 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 the logic behind going with uh, the stupid dumb 5% dark limo tint Should be good stuff. And also if you notice behind me, I did two windows here Both of these are 20% tint film that I bought from Walmart, uh, but 20% Compare that with 20% No tint first step is first and that is to prepare your work area uh, But before that I want to go ahead and show you what exactly I'm working with So let's go ahead and get a close-up of these garage windows now I pray your garage windows aren't as dirty as this, so hopefully you don't have to do this step, but I'm going to go ahead and vacuum everything first, pick up all the big chunks. But in reality, guys, you can kind of see the difference. 20% just wasn't, eh, it's still transparent uh, and clear, of course, it's just clear. Now that we know that 20% is still lending a lot of light in, we gotta, we gotta up those rookie numbers up. Would you look at that custom laser cut tint film installation? All right, now that we vacuumed all the big chunks out of the way, let's go ahead and drench this thing with a bunch of window cleaner and just try to get it as clean as possible uh, so that we have a better adhesion with the uh, tin film itself. All right, so now that we got the window as clean as can be, well, that's actually really clean, uh, we're going to go ahead and get the tint film roll out and cut out the sides. Look at that, 5% already looks good. Just making sure we have a lot of excess so that we have a lot to work with and that we have maximum coverage because I, I don't want this to happen again. Unacceptable. Now I just need to peel off the backing side and see if I can stick this sucker on there uh, with minimal errors. Which shouldn't be that hard, fellas. So let's go ahead. There we go. We got it. I'm going to go ahead and peel that apart. Oops. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and hit the glass up with some water. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and grab this backing paper without damaging the damn film too much. But it's a little, uh, a little on the hard side here. Accept me. Just accept me, man. Just accept your fate and accept me. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Right there. Okay, all right. You kind of got a piece on there and try to see if I can remove all the backing paper off because it's not cooperating with me that all that well. Oh my goodness. Already off the bat, we having issues. No. Oh man, I'm damaging the film. I'm damaging the film here, fellas. I'm damaging the film, guys. Be free. Sticky film right there. That's sticky. That is sticky. Oh my gosh, it's sticking to itself. No, 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 no. No, it's sticking to itself. It's Scene one, Apple take two. I'm try to, without damaging it too much. Excuse. I'm already damaging the film. Look at that. I already damaged it. I already damaged it. We're gonna have to push this further up. Oh my goodness, this is terrible. I made a piece just big enough because I know I'm gonna commit some more errors here. I knew that was gonna happen. You gotta prepare for these contingencies. Woo! And we're done. That is it. So let's see if I can resuscitate this guy. I got my squeegee. We need to glass it out. Ooh, 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 okay. Alright. It's not really sticking. There we go. 
it's kind of working. Not seeing any air bubbles. The tin film is actually com complying pretty well. It's cooperating with me. So I can push this out here a little bit more. There we go. There. We'll go ahead and finish off those edges in a bit. Let's go ahead and work on the other side. So far, so good. I think. Let's keep going here. I'm gonna pull this out as much as I can. Refill that up because the water before dried on me. All right. Let's hit them up. We got hey, we got a huge pocket over here. We're gonna try to push that out the way. Use the force of gravity on my side and uh, start from the top. The water will go ahead and beat down. I thought this portion was going to be the biggest pain, but actually it's flowing pretty nicely. Just reinforce these edges. Oh, you can see all the water dripping down now. Needs to find an exit point. Okay, now I'm going to trim off the edges so we can nip and tuck that in there. All right, not bad. The window cleaner did its job and removed the ghosts of all the dust and particles. So I wasn't a fan of the water that I was accumulating all around the corners from squeegeeing everything out. Uh, so I brought my heat gun. Uh, to try and, I guess, evaporate the water. When I vinyl wrapped that thing over there, this thing made it a lot easier and more more easy to work with. So I'm gonna try and apply this to tin film. I don't know, maybe I'm destroying the tin film by heating it up, but uh, life lessons. Try to remove that, I don't like that at all. Right, I think I think we're good for the most part. I, already, I kinda already hit it earlier uh, and uh, did pretty well. There's still a little few areas where water is still on the film itself, but for the most part, it's not bad. I have to heat that up. I don't even know if this helps or if I'm ruining the film by doing this. I don't even know, but I'm gonna see what happens. Looks like it's not really doing much else. I'm just gonna have to let the sun just naturally dry it up then. I think that'll probably do it and then we should hopefully, hopefully have a nice clean finish. Now this, this tint job, my goodness. Oh my goodness, much better. This, this is a joke. Got scratch marks already in the film. Still got all these holes. <sighs> Not to mention that. Not even full coverage. This, coverage is actually not that bad. There's some areas where I missed, but what are you gonna do? All right, so you guys saw me struggling put uh, removing the backing paper from the uh, tin film itself. However, upon reading the instructions, yeah, that's a thing apparently. You put a piece of tape on either side. Let me fix the zoom here. You put a piece of tape on either side and uh, make sure you press hard enough that they stick to their surface and then you pull them apart and then you'll be able to split apart the backing paper from the tin film itself. There we go guys, I finally got all of the garage windows tin film installed, all of them all around me. It took me a long time, went through three tin film boxes. A couple of mistakes though is uh, you wanna conserve it, see how you wanna lay it out, plan ahead because you will cut through a lot and you don't wanna cut at excess. First times, yes. That, that's, that's my advice guys, make sure you have a lot of excess room to play with uh, and then after that as soon as you get good at it or you know you find your technique or your rhythm then you can go ahead and cut down the sizes uh, so that way you have more and that you don't have to go through a bunch of boxes uh, to, to do all your windows. That's my advice to you guys. Tint film looks excellent during the day it is black you cannot see anything 
And uh, anybody who drives their car in 5% black tint, I commend you because damn, it is really hard to see at night. But that is what we were going for. So guys, if you're considering tinting your garage door windows or an easy small panel like this, this is like a small, what is this, a one by two space, flat surface, no curbs, no nothing, then yeah, go ahead, try it. Not that hard, I won't lie. The first time I did, uh, I messed up. But those are all things you learn through experience. Let's go outside and take a peep, guys. Okay, as you can see, it is sunny as can be. The sun is up and doing its job, and just look at those windows, guys. You can't even tell if focus is in or not because it's just too damn bright. But look at that. If we pull up close, remember the lights are on. It's a reflection. It is literally a reflection. You cannot see inside there whatsoever. It's beautiful. I like it. This, this is what I was going for, so... Overall, guys, I am pleased. Now that we finished the garage windows, uh, let's try to finish the garage itself. So there you have it, guys. Before I completely melt in this very hot temperatures, uh, tinting windows. If it's a small surface, if it's flat, there's no curves, there's no curvature, nothing around it, then uh, yeah, it's pretty damn easy. However, if you're doing a window, a car window, I don't know. I never tried. It's probably just as easy. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Peep those tinted windows. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Take care.